What is it? I don't know! Stand over here! Hey! <laughs> you know, this is pretty nice! Ah, the home gym. Tired of paying 50 bucks a month for a gym membership you never use? Well, now you can pay two grand up front to get a gym in your home that you never use. Unfortunately, with me and the missus locked down at home for reasons of the COVID variety, the well of excuses for not using this thing is rapidly running dry. And one of those excuses is a technical flaw that needs fixing. You see, notwithstanding the prosumer level of construction quality of this machine, Body Solid cut a technical corner on one aspect of assembly. This piece here, the knee support for the leg lift exercise, is supported on this end by a plastic press-in retainer cap. That thing has the holding power of a bored girlfriend, so every time you try and use that part of the machine, the cap falls off and the pads let go. We need something to replace that cap so that those pads stay on when we are using the machine. Now one way to solve that problem is with the liberal application of every motorsports engineer's favorite adhesive, JB Weld. But we have a CNC lathe. We can do better. Of course, compounding the problem is that one time when you forget to replace the plug after you use the machine, the wife's asshole dog finds it and decides, hey, new chew toy. Well, there ain't no way, no how, this thing is ever going to hold that pad in again. So we have to design something that's got a little bit more of a positive lock. He knows what he's done. So here we are in Fusion 360, looking at the part we've designed to replace that plug. What we've got is an aluminum housing machined on the lathe, and in the middle of it is a steel expansion plug that draws up against that tapered bore inside. Tighten the bolt, pull the plug tight, it expands the bore, locks it inside the shaft. So we'll start with the steel expansion plug here in Fusion oriented in the direction it's going to get the machine on the lathe. Here's our tool paths. Notice the area on the left hand side so we can part it off later. And let's run the simulation so you can see the cut. There we go. There's the stock in green. Press play. In comes the tool. And we'll just speed it up a little bit here. Roughing passes. Take it down to its basic shape and we leave a little bit of stock left so we can come in with a cleanup pass here and take it to final size. And we're done. So I finally have a proper metric drill here for cutting the bore for the metric thread that goes to the center of this part. Let's uh, give this drill a try and see how it works. So I didn't film the tapping process, basically just put the tap in the tailstock and then manually crank the chuck over with the chuck key to do the tapping. So we'll just take it as... A few minutes later. Here's Mach 4 with the G-code loaded up and so let's start. <laughs>
Beautiful. So I didn't record the parting off operation for this part because quite frankly, I didn't think it was going to work. My other parting blade is a high speed steel blade and anytime I've tried to use it, it's just jammed and squealed and never really worked right. I had this carbide tip one lying around that I'd never been brave enough to use. So I gave it a try and I'll be goddamn it didn't work the first time. So uh, Murphy's Law being what it is, no video. But here's a steel picture of it working, so just trust me. So here we are, expansion plug done. Ready to machine the housing. So part one of the operations I'm going to show you on the housing is the drilling out with the tailstock. I've already taken down the outer diameter of the boss, uh, doing some testing on feeds and speeds, so I'm not going to show that. But we are going to show the drilling the center hole, like you see here. And then to make room for the boring bar that has to come in later, we're going to drill that out in the middle as well. But we're not going to drill this all the way through, we're only going to drill it down to the base of where the boring bar has to go to give it clearance so it can do its thing. And you'll just see here, we'll make it wireframe, like so, and the simulation goes. Like that. <laughs> Now it's time for the most boring operation of this video, the boring of the center bore. And here's a simulation showing how we're going to come in. We're taking lighter passes this time because it's a thin boring bar. But the same sort of deal as cutting the outside of the plug. We rough it out first and then once the roughing is done, we come in and do a nice little cleanup pass like so. And we're done. Once again, here's the Mach 4 screen. We'll go ahead and cycle start.
now it's time to finish the domed part of the housing. We flipped it around in the chuck, and we're going to do this as a facing operation like you see here. So we're going to make facing cuts across the face. That's why it's called facing. Here comes the tool and simulation. And first we rough it out like this. And once it's roughed out, we come in for a cleanup pass. And we're finished. Back into Mach 4. Cycle start. <laughs> And we're done. Final assembly. That's the bolt there. There's the expansion plug that draws into the housing there that's tapered. I cut two slots on it with the saw just to help it expand a little bit. And we have a nice flush fit with the bolt. Let's get it installed. And there it is in its new home. Locked down and nice and tight. And now I've got no excuse not to use it. Well, there we go. We made something. Thanks for watching. Let me grab my Peter. Woo!